Jenna Melzinski, uh, representing Canada. Uh, congratulations are in order. Not only did you graduate uh, Rollins uh, this May, but you also graduated as a valedictorian. A very high uh, honor there. Thank you. Okay. Now, now that that's uh, kind of behind you a little bit, to now focus in a little bit on, on skiing, how do you think you're going to do this weekend uh, for Team Canada in the 1721? Um, I think I'm going to do well. Um, feeling pretty strong and uh, just going to kind of give her my all. Okay. Now you've just taken a jump set and you've landed, landed some, some pretty decent jumps out there, but a few days prior to this, uh, this event, uh, from what I understand of uh, my, uh, my reconnaissance, uh, you did take a little bit of a crash before this event. Do you think that's going to weigh on your mind before the tournament or, or did you use those three jumps to kind of uh, get that out of your system? Um, I kind of use the jumps to get it out of my system um, and I'm not going to let it stay on my mind because uh, it happens to everybody and um, I'm just going to put it past me and uh, concentrate on tomorrow. Okay. You're in the 17 to 21 uh, category, but you look around you and you see all these young Canadian and United States athletes representing in the, in the junior categories. Uh, do you kind of wish that you were just a little bit younger and had a few more years uh, years with you, you know, so, so you can uh, kind of extend this experience a little bit longer? Um, you know, it's weird, Tony, because usually I'm the youngest at a lot of events, because uh, I have a late birthday, so I'm the youngest in my class usually, um, so it's weird being the oldest for once. Um, in some ways, yeah, I'd like to have a few more years, but in other ways, I'm um, looking forward to competing in the Open Division, and uh, also I've, I've had a great couple of years, more than a couple, I've had a great many number of years, so uh, I'm ready to move on and uh, compete in Open.